the difference between the internet and the web was, uh, well, it was clear to me when I was inventing the web in 1989, and I was using the internet, which had been invented in 1969. So there was 20 years when the internet uh, existed, and the, but there was no websites. And so, so what's the internet? So the internet is a way of connecting different computers together, so that you can write a program on one of the uh, run on one of the computers, run it on one of the computers, and it will, and that program will communicate across a series of networks with a computer on the other side. What the internet does is what the, it has the protocol that Vint Cerf and company defined TCP and IP. Those protocols are ways of the computers sending packets to each other, a little bit like sending packets, uh, a bit like sending uh, postcards out through the postal system. When you send, if you send postcards through the postal system, each post office looks at the address on it and figures out which post office to send it on to next to get it through the system to the right, uh, to the final address. And that's kind of how the internet works. So what they did with the internet was they took a bunch of networks, a bunch of Ethernet-based, typically networks, <coughs> and connect them together with long distance lines and put software in the uh, computers where those networks connected to pass on those postcards, to pass on those internet packets of data. And so th that work meant that all I had to do was to connect into the internet software on my computer. They would figure out how to get the data to the other end. So when I built a uh, web browser and a web server, I could use that internet layer. So the internet layer was an layer of connectivity uh, between uh, uh, it was, it was uh, everything from the cables up to the sort of the layer a programmer would use to connect between two programs, but there were no websites, there was no information space, there was no documents, there were no web pages. Those things just didn't exist. Uh, they, if you like, they're figments of the imagination of the, prog of the, of the programs which run on the net. And so I, d I designed a web server which, when asked for a particular document over that, would send you the contents and a web browser, which would keep looking at, following, looking at a link, figuring out the, the address of the thing that the link led to, and then asking the system, contacting the relevant server and, uh, and asking it for, for that. So the web is the space of pages and documents, and now programs that you get and, uh, and that have URLs. And the internet is the underlying system which allows the web server and the web browser to work. Well, I wanted it to be a global, um, uh, a global thing. I wanted it to, uh, go, web is a pretty uh, accurate name for what I wanted. A web mathematically is, uh, in a way, it's like a mesh or it's a, or a net. To a certain extent, you can use the word web the same way as you can use net, and the word net is being used for the internet. So I thought uh, web would work instead. Worldwide, because it wanted to be global, www, because, um, because hey, if I put, a, put people will remember that. If people make a computer, www dot whatever dot com, then the chances are unlikely that they've already got a www dot. So, it, uh, so it's unique. It was a little bit uh, difficult. Yeah, people complained that it was difficult to say because it was too long. www, uh, but uh, duperve, duperve, duperve. But uh, it was by being a little bit cranky, uh, it was unique. So I could spot them, and it meant that we could count the number of web servers that were out there by counting the number of computers, which were called www. Well, there was a point when I realized, oh my goodness, this is going to take off. And I'll probably have to move to MIT and probably in 30 years time, I'll probably have to record a message about it to send back to CERN, probably if my calculations are correct. No, I couldn't, of course. I could never be sure that it was going to take off. I would never, it was growing. 
absolutely solidly the world the load on the first server grew by a factor of 10 every year it was doubling every four months roughly and that continued for three years so looking at the load on the first server just going up 10 100 1000 10000 hits a day clearly there was a massive explosion going on if it was like sort of being in the middle of the big bang going on continually year after year there was no point there was no one point when i thought wow you know now it's happened it just kept on going and going and going and it still is the difference between the internet and the web was uh, well, it was clear to me when I was inventing the web in 1989 and I was using the internet, which had been invented in 1969. So there was 20 years when the internet uh, existed, and the, but there was no websites. And so, so what's the internet? So the internet is a way of connecting different computers together so that you can write a program on one of the, uh, one of the, one of the computers, run it on one of the computers, and, it will, and that program will communicate across a series of networks with a computer on the other side. What the internet does is what the, it has the protocol that Vint Cerf and company defined TCP and IP. Those protocols are ways of the computers sending packets to each other, a little bit like sending packets, uh, a bit like sending uh, postcards out through the postal system. When you send, if you send postcards through the postal system, each post office looks at the address on it and figures out which post office to send it on to next to get it through the system to the right uh, to the final address and that's kind of how the internet works so what they did with the internet was they took a bunch of networks a bunch of ethernet based typically networks and connect them together with long distance lines and put software in the uh, computers where those networks connected to pass on those postcards, to pass on those internet packets of data. And so th that work meant that all I had to do was to connect into the internet software on my computer. They would figure out how to get the data to the other end. So when I built a uh, web browser and a web server, I could use that internet layer. So the internet layer was an area of connectivity uh, between, uh, uh, it was, it was uh, everything from the cables up to the sort of the layer a programmer would use to connect between two programs, but there were no websites, there was no information space, there was no documents, there were no web pages. Those things just didn't exist. Uh, they, if you like, they're figments of the imagination of the, prog of the, of the programs which run on the net. And so I, d I designed a web server which, when asked for a particular document over that, would send you the contents and a web browser which would keep looking at, following, looking at the link, figuring out the, the address of the thing that the link led to, and then asking the system, contacting the relevant server and, uh, uh, and asking it for, for that. I think, in general, I suppose you have to go for uh, when it saved lives, I suppose, when, uh, when somebody came to me um, and explained that they had probably saved their son's life by going on the web and finding out, figuring out a diagnosis that the, that the doctors hadn't managed to find, uh, for example. Um, that was uh, that sort of thing, I, I think. Um, um, saving lives, I think, is uh, pretty... Is, uh, is right up there uh, among the most exciting things and but of course uh, also all of the the organization that people do to uh, perfectly in order to do good things in order to fight for the things that, that they think are important in the world thirty years ago I submitted a vague but exciting proposal for a free, open, permissionless space for all of humanity to share 
knowledge and ideas. Today, half the world's population is still unconnected, and those of us who are online feel that our rights and freedoms are not fully protected and respected. The fight for the web we want is one of the most important causes of our time. The Web Foundation is collaboratively building a contract for the web, bringing governments, companies, and citizens together to commit to building a better web. We need your help to make this work. Visit webfoundation.org slash for the web and add your voice.